Pronouns need to agree with their antecedents. So singular antecedents need to take singular pronouns, and plural pronouns must refer to plural antecedents. This can get confusing if the antecedent of a pronoun is compound, meaning composed of two or more nouns. Now, if these two nouns are connected by the conjunction and, the pronoun almost always takes a plural form. Let's look at some examples. This sentence reads, my car and my truck need to be washed so that rust doesn't damage it. Now, the antecedent of the pronoun it is my car and my truck, a compound noun connected by the conjunction and. Since this is connected by the conjunction and, it should be treated as a plural noun, and we need a plural pronoun. So instead of it, we should use them. This sentence is correctly rewritten as, my car and my truck need to be washed so that rust doesn't damage them. On the other hand, pronouns for subjects connected by or, either or, or neither nor, agree only with the final noun. Check out this example. In this sentence, which reads, either Jack or Jill should receive first prize for their painting, our pronoun needs to agree with the final noun in our compound antecedent, Jill. Since Jill is singular and feminine, our pronoun should not read there, but should instead read her. This sentence is correctly rewritten as either Jack or Jill should receive first prize for her painting. Similarly, in this sentence, neither the mouse nor the rabbits could find its way through the maze. The pronoun its ought to agree with the final noun in the construction, rabbits. This is a plural noun, so we should use the plural pronoun there. This sentence is correctly rewritten as neither the mouse nor the rabbits could find their way through the maze.